Hello, ActoSage here on the Sage channel, and this is the Cathedral of the Stars. This large cathedral could be dedicated to one religion, or people could take their turns using the large space inside to pray. It could be rented out to whoever needs it at times, or, as I said earlier, just one religion could own it. So multiple of these could exist for different religions, even though it is a cathedral, so I suspect it would probably be more Christian-leaning. But I could be wrong on that. This large ship is inside. If I fly closely, you'll see that the inside of it, if I can get if I can get through these windows, which are actually, if we look at them, two doors turned on end. I recently saw this online on the Steam Workshop, and so a few people did this. And I was like, wow, that's a brilliant idea. I'll start doing that. I would like to have just a large window like this, but I suspect. Over time, we'll find new stuff added to the game like this, or people will mod stuff like this in. But if we fly through these windows, you'll see here, this is the main area where a preacher would stand. I have these beacons which light up and actually look pretty nice, I'll show you that in a bit. And here is just the main hall. Now, if this place was to be set up with multiple different religions, you could see possibly little different religious stands set up. Possibly the actual preaching area there would not get used. And people would just have their own little areas where they would come and pray. And this would just be a place of peace. And no matter what, this ship is not intended as a place for peace. There are no weapons or anything set up with it. Now, we've flown all the way to the back of the ship now. And I'm actually going to go through these doors that are actually supposed to be doors. And these are basically the airlocks to get into the large ship. And we actually have four of these large airlock sections set up here. And this is basically a docking area where people would land their ships, get out and go in, or even dock their ships nearby, do a little short space walk over, and come into the large cathedral. Down below here we have the main engine array to keep the ship going, and below this we actually have a small line of engines that go along the entire bottom of the ship. Now these are mainly just for show, because we have an assortment of other larger engines inside facing downwards, upwards, to the left and the right. And then at the front, we do actually have some braking thrusters right here. And actually, these have more thrusters behind them to double them back. Those three rows there actually have 11 thrusters behind the three that you can see each. And that is actually similar to how the back is set up. We have three thrusters there with 11 behind each of those, and then another set actually to the other side of the ship, way down there on the other side. But these I thought were interesting because... This actually isn't intentional, but it sort of ended up looking like that, where it sort of looks like maybe a big head, eyes, right there, those two little windows there, and maybe this would be the large beard or something, I don't know, it just sort of ended up looking like this sort of alienish face, which wasn't intentional, but I kind of like the idea that some bearded, super intelligent being of the stars might use this cathedral, or even be the ones that originally created this design or this setup. Now, if we fly through this window here, this actually leads us directly into what is the control room. And it's a very simple control room because this ship probably would be as it is right now, just part staring at a large star or something beautiful or a nebula or something of that sort. And the people would do would probably stay there, possibly permanently or at least for a long time while people use it to worship or whatnot. If I hop in here really quickly, I will show you the statistics of the ship. If you look in the bottom right there, you can see we have no reflector lights or anything, but the ship is pretty heavy. Uh, I'm not going to try to turn here or anything, because once it gets, starts turning, it's almost impossible to turn, and because the server or the actual game will be trying to calculate the movement of the ship, then I will actually start moving slowly. My frame rate won't suffer, but I will start moving very, very slowly. Anyway, if you care for any of that information, there it was. Now, if we were to go through this hallway, we lead up to this long hall here. Before I go down there, I'm actually going to go up here, and this leads up to basically the praying area where we just were a minute ago, and... That's this whole room, and it's actually right below that. So, preacher stand, we come down here, we come down here, and then you basically hang a left to go to the control room, or a right to go to what is actually sleeping quarters. I'll show you in a minute. Little issue I just realized here, I forgot to uh, properly seal this area. Hmm, I'll fix that in a bit. But anyway, if we go down here, you can see... We have a bunch of rooms, and each of these rooms have their own little nice window. We have these bar these barriers that I put on this side as a makeshift bedroom and then a storage for personal storage, and maybe this would actually double as a restroom shower thing as well, since none of that actually exists. So if I was to fly out these windows, you can see where they are on the ship, 
And we actually have, I believe it is, ten rooms on each side of the ship with these little windows set up in them. And then I believe these last two down here aren't, actually no, last three, are not actually rooms. They're actually at the end of that long hallway we were just in. If we were to look down here, you can see that's a long hallway with more bedrooms on each of them. But you can see this is actually what would double as sort of the resting area or mess hall for anyone who permanently crews this ship. Or maybe even for people who stop by, maybe this would be an open port sort of cathedral where people come, they pray, and if they need to take a break, maybe they'll be allowed to rent out these rooms or even just use them, and who knows how this place would govern it. Over here we have an airlock, and this actually leads into, oh, an airlock that's missing its second door. Oops. But anyway, we have an airlock that leads into the innards of the ship, and over here you can see we have an assortment of reactors that actually runs the length of the ship. Under that we have large storage containers, which act as probably the fuel storage. I'm not sure if I need conveyors to connect them up or not, so I didn't bother with it this time. And then of course you can see down here we have all those engines I was talking about, how they're behind each other. We have our large gyroscope array down here. We have our engines for moving left and right over here. Our engines for moving upwards right here. These are the main ones. So of course, we have those small ones on the outside. I showed them along the bottom of the ship. And then our engines for moving down, down here. And if we fly all the way back to the back of the ship, now you can actually see the large engines I have set up here to keep the ship going forward if we wish. And there's a whole bunch of engines and stuff back here. Anyway, it's a pretty basic ship. For its actual idea behind it's pretty basic, but there's a lot of little stuff here and there. It's a pretty big ship. The outer hull of it I actually started building back before we actually had any of the mirroring tools or anything. But luckily once we got the mirroring system in, that's when I actually came back to this ship. And actually it was after we got the 64-bit in I came back to it because originally I was getting like 3-4 frames per second and it was crashing every 3 minutes. Now with the 64-bit version, even though this game is still an elephant, even though I am getting usually under 10 frames per second or at least around 10 to 12 I was able to come back and finish this nice ship and I'm pretty happy with it down here is more maintenance areas we just have gravity generator actually behind this little sport and we're actually under the docking area now and these little air ladders right here through these airlocks lead up into the main cathedral area again anyway thanks a bunch for watching this ship should be up on my steam workshop within probably a day or two possibly by the end of the day clearly there are a few things i need to go back and fix and do a quality pass before i actually put it up there but i hope you guys like the ship thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys next time